Hello, I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I am in all of my glory. I am sitting in a 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback Custom that most people would refer to as Eleanor, but we refer to it as Ruby. <laughs> in a ruby-like color called Red Fire Metallic, uh, where the original Eleanor was painted pepper gray. Uh, so to talk a little bit first about the Eleanor Mustang from the famous movie Gone in 60 Seconds, um, that car, ever since that movie was released, has become a worldwide phenomenon. Uh, to this day, uh, Eleanor Mustangs are uh, on the top of people's bucket lists with cars and enthusiasts. Uh, collectors and so forth. Um, talking a little bit about the Eleanor Mustang, we're proud at MS Classic Cars to say um, that we actually did the first 1965 Ford Mustang uh, Eleanor. It was actually an E2 kit that we used. Um, that car was just spectacular. Uh, we go back many, many years ago. Um, we also um, at MS Classic Cars owned the uh, car that was referred to as Testbed Terror. That was the car that um, was built prior to Eleanor being built, and they actually used that vehicle's fiberglass work to help mold the fiberglass work on the original Eleanor. Uh, that car was actually driven by Nicolas Cage and Angelina Jolie at Bondurant's racetrack uh, in preparation for doing a lot of their own stunts in the movie. Uh, so we were the proud owners of that car. We've had uh, probably five or six uh, Eleanor's over the years. Uh, we've even had a couple of convertibles. Um, when people refer to an Eleanor, uh, they're refer referring to the kit that you actually purchase uh, that resembles the car from the movie. And that kit uh, essentially is the front end nose of the car. It's the hood. Uh, it's the fender moldings, which actually mold into the lower moldings. Uh, the fender moldings, of course, in the back. Uh, the rear end of the entire vehicle, uh, and of course the side scoops. Uh, that is kind of what the Eleanor uh, body kit is. Uh, and what makes these Eleanors as valuable as they are, these cars with these body kits, is the body work uh, is very, very labor intensive. Uh, it's a very expensive deal to build one of these cars. Um, so that's kind of uh, what the Eleanor deal is all about. Um, now, talking a little bit about this particular car, to tell you the story, it's a great story. Um, in 2014, uh, I attended the Mecham auction. We don't normally do uh, Mecham auctions, but I happened to be there with the Testbed Terror Mustang that I just mentioned. And uh, it was kind of a big deal. Everybody uh, that was interested obviously went to that auction to check that car out. We ended up selling that car, uh, so it all worked out well. And as we were walking out of the area uh, where our cars were displayed, lo and behold, was this Mustang that you're looking at today. 
I remember the day that we saw this car. Um, I could not believe uh, how beautiful it was. It was probably the best one that I had ever seen. Uh, to this day, it's one of the best ones I've ever seen. Um, it's got an unbelievable color combination. Uh, it's been Shelby inspired. Uh, it's been Jack Roush inspired. Um, they did a great job with the wheel selection, the bodywork, the interior, the engine compartment, the undercarriage. Um, unfortunately, when you look at a lot of these uh, 67, 68 Mustangs that have been customized uh, and they do have the Eleanor kits on them, the Eleanor kits are not done uh, very well. A lot of these uh, different body shops and so forth, they do a terrible job with the fitment of the hood or the fitment of the front end. They don't even mold the fenders. A lot of times they just, you know, put on the moldings and so forth and they, they use adhesive or whatever the case might be. I've seen it all. Um, to find ones that are done to the level of this particular car um, is extremely, extremely hard to find. So this particular car here, uh, just to tell you the quick story about it, I have this beautiful binder that I created. Um, this car was discovered uh, by a gentleman whose story is in this magazine here, which obviously are included with the car. This is Modified Mustangs in Ford Magazine. We have a couple of copies here um, that goes over the entire story of this car. Uh, the gentleman's name is Steve Richmond. He's from Florida. Um, at the time that this car was built, it said in the article that he was a body man uh, and painter for over 23 years. He discovered this car locally um, as a uh, project car, if you will. It was running and driving, uh, but it needed a lot of work. It was a 1967 Ford Mustang, and it was an S-Code. So after he did further research and pulled a Marty report, which we have included with this car, it clearly shows what this car was born as which makes it really cool because A, it's a 1967, B, it was a real fastback. A lot of people do fastback conversions. You gotta be very careful of that. That means a car that was born as a coupe and people actually make them into a fastback. Um, so that can be a little bit deceitful. This car was born a fastback as indicated on the Marty Auto Report. And it was also born as an S-Code, which is a 394 valve V8. Um, so it kind of had everything going for it. It was white, it had red interior. Again, this is the original Marty report. This is the statistics on that Mustang. This is what the car had with from the factory when it was new. So when he got the car, he discovered, obviously, that all the numbers and everything, uh, you know, made it a desirable piece. He was going to restore it as an original car and then made the decision, uh, rather than going original, uh, since it needed a lot of sheet metal replacement, that he would be better off building an Eleanor. So it took uh, three years uh, for the restoration to be completed. It states in the magazine that it uh, took 1,300 hours to complete. Uh, I, I would guarantee that it would take longer than that. I bet you there's a lot of time that he didn't include uh, researching parts and things of this nature. So uh, lo and behold, uh, this is the car that I actually sold, uh, saw at the auction that I was at where I saw a test bed terror. All these years later, the guy who ended up purchasing it at that auction uh, listed it for sale. I immediately jumped on the opportunity to buy it, and here I am today. So the car went from Steve who restored it to a gentleman in Ohio who had the car basically for six years. It only has 2,683 miles on the restoration. It's obviously been super well cared for. And of course, MS Classic Cars got the vehicle. We did a couple cool things to it, and here it is today. Um, once again, just to go over quickly with you, uh, the things that are included, we have this binder, we have the um, Marty report that I just showed you. We also have uh, Carol Shelby's Certificate of Authenticity. Uh, this is actually numbered and everything. This is because he signed the glove box. Uh, there's also a picture here of Jack Roush um, who also signed the vehicle on the cowl section. Uh, so both of those things are documented. Uh, there's a picture here of the engine. Uh, this is a very special engine. It's a Roush built uh, Shelby aluminum block uh, 468. Uh, from the information we gathered, it was originally a 427 from Shelby and then they stroked it. This is an outstanding engine with a custom front runner system. The car has also won many awards. These awards are not included with the car. 
but they are stated in the magazines. Uh, it won even an MCA national event, so the cars won a lot of trophies and so forth. And then of course we got some pictures here of the restoration when Steve was building the car. And as I mentioned earlier, the car has a ton of new sheet metal. You can even see where the interior was wrapped in Dynamat. Uh, and again, the car was featured in Mustang Magazine as well. So it was featured in two magazines. Um, it won tons of awards. It was even a calendar car. I have the calendars here that show the car um, in the calendar and so forth. Those are all included as well. So talking about the exterior of this vehicle, um, as I mentioned earlier, um, it's very, very hard to find Eleanor Mustangs uh, that have outstanding body work. This car is about as good as it gets as far as body work is concerned for the Eleanor body kit. Um, so to talk about, uh, first of all, the front nose, the front nose is absolutely beautiful. It aligns perfectly with the front fenders. The hood opens and closes. It's got great gaps. Uh, so that is definitely something that I would brag about. Uh, the really cool thing about this car is the fender moldings on both the front and the back here and the lower molding that goes on the bottom. Those were all blended into the body. They're seamless. So if you look at our photos, you will clearly see that they're all seamless moldings, which again looks absolutely awesome with this car. They even blended in the side scoops as well. So both the upper and lower side scoops are blended in. They even have a custom mesh little grill that they put inside uh, the side scoops, which look tremendous. Um, the hood on this vehicle is actually a GT500 hood. Uh, when Steve was doing the restoration, he preferred this hood over the normal Eleanor hood, just to give it uh, a little bit of his own customization. He also fabricated the louvers that were on the hood, so they're slightly different uh, than the original hood, so it kind of gives it its own little uh, flavor, if you will, and it does have billet uh, hood pins, which work beautifully on the front end. Um, of course, uh, the body on this car is laser, laser straight. All the doors open and close beautifully. The deck lid opens and closes beautifully. Um, the work on the back end of the car is equally as nice as the rest of the car. I'm getting into uh, the end caps, uh, where the rear deck lid meets the end caps. Uh, the rear deck panel there, where it has those Shelby style lights in the back, the lower valance, it's all absolutely beautiful. Um, so definitely have to check out the photography that we've done that highlights the condition of the body. Uh, talking about the paint, uh, once again, rather than painting the car pepper gray metallic, um, he made a decision to paint this car red fire metallic, which is an absolutely gorgeous color. It, it does change a little bit depending on the lighting. We've nicknamed the car Ruby because it kind of uh, looks ruby, so to speak, uh, the color of the car. And the paint job is at the highest level of quality. It is absolutely beautiful paint. It's virtually flawless. Again, the car only has 2,683 miles on it, so it's not like it's been driven you know, a ton uh, to get a lot of chips and things like that. Uh, the decision was also made just because it kind of fit the hood better. Rather than going with the typical dual stripes, this has got the uh, super snake stripes. And the super snake stripes are really, really cool. When Unique Performance built these cars after the movie, they're the original company who actually had the license to build the Eleanor cars. Um, they actually offered a Super Snake model um, of the Eleanor, so it was kind of like the higher performance, uh, et cetera, et cetera. They actually used this style stripe, which looks great. So it's a continuous stripe. It goes all the way from the front of the car, all the way up the hood. It's on top of the roof. It goes down the back of the car and so forth, and it just really, really flows beautifully. And the gray stripe also uh, goes down uh, the front section of the cowl. So when you open up the hood, you do see that uh, super snake stripe that kind of dips in there as well. So once again, absolutely spectacular paint on this car. Uh, the body work is impeccable. It's one of the best Eleanor's period uh, on the market for sale or any that have been sold in the past. Getting into the glass. All of the glass in this car is brand new. You'll find with a lot of these cars that people don't replace the glass during the restorations. Um, Steve went ahead and replaced all the glass and the glass is slightly tinted. It is crystal clear. It 
it's in beautiful condition. All the windows go up and down beautifully. Uh, so I can't uh, emphasize again how important it is when you have beautiful paint to also have uh, beautiful glass. All of the stainless trim, uh, all of the uh, emblems that are on the car, uh, the custom lights, uh, anything that basically is on the exterior, even these bullet style mirrors here, um, basically were replaced brand new. Uh, so you gotta, gotta, gotta check out this uh, car on our website, uh, msclassiccars.com. For all the photos, you can clearly see the attention to detail. Uh, getting into the interior of this car. Once again, sometimes you find cars that have good interiors, sometimes you find cars that have you know, good body work, but it's very hard to find a car that has a combination of everything. This interior of this car is absolutely spectacular. The headliner is brand spanking new. Um, there's no sagging in this whatsoever. There's no uh, you know, waves or, or ripples or anything like that. Um, the sun visors are nice and sturdy. They're in beautiful condition. The dash pad is brand spanking new. All the stainless, which was part of the Eleanor from the movie, so they kind of continued the stainless uh, on the dash and on the uh, door panels, along with this beautiful center console. Some of these cars don't have a console, some do. This one has the beautiful console. It's got auto meter gauges that are all brand new, uh, the, the Pro Comp ultralight gauges. Um, again, Carol Shelby signed the glove box. It has the correct Cobra Motolita steering wheel here that is awesome. It's the perfect size. It has a brushed uh, tilt steering column, which again was brand new. Uh, the heat works in this car, awesome. All the gauges work. It even has a clock in the console that works. Um, it has an Alpine uh, stereo system in here with custom speakers and the kicker panels. Um, it's got a Hurst uh, style uh, shifter here. It also has this really nice uh, console lid with this Cobra emblem that's been embroidered in here, which looks great. Um, it has Cobra floor mats, new carpeting, new door panels. It's got these pro car leather seats with a matching rear seat that is a folding rear seat. It does have a roll cage back here that's been really nicely designed. It even has a fire extinguisher. It's attached to the roll cage. Um, everything in the back of the car is brand spanking new. Uh, this is like sitting in a brand new car. Every single piece of this interior was touched and replaced during the restoration and everything is in working order. And getting into the uh, trunk compartment, the trunk compartment of this car is also nicely done uh, just like the rest of the car is. Um, the trunk actually has the mechanism that would allow you to go through the back section uh, to enter you know, this rear area here. It does have a Optima yellow top battery uh, which has been concealed on the right hand side. It's got carpeting back there so it is really beautiful condition. Uh, it's again reflective of the interior. Uh, talking about the engine compartment, once again uh, as I mentioned earlier you can find a car with a great body find a car maybe with a great interior. When they open up the hood, the car kind of falls on its face. Um, this particular car, it gets better as you continue to study it throughout. Uh, this engine compartment is highly, highly detailed. I don't know what else you could possibly do with an engine compartment to make it look any better than this particular car. Um, the entire engine compartment was finished in the same color uh, as the uh, exterior is concerned. Again, you can see the stripes that go down the cowl a little bit, the Super Snake stripes. Um, the heart of this car is a Roush Shelby-inspired uh, 468, as I mentioned earlier, with roughly 500 plus horsepower. Um, this is an unbelievable engine. It's an all-aluminum engine. Uh, it was believed it was a 427. They stroked it to a 468. Um, it's got an unbelievable front runner pulley system on it. Um, it's got these beautiful uh, Roush uh, Shelby style black uh, valve covers and air cleaner. Um, we put a brand new uh, Holly carburetor on it that performs awesome. Uh, we actually added the aluminum hinges uh, just to give it a little bit of character. When Steve did the car, it had more factory style hinges. We added those billet hinges, which look awesome. You'll notice uh, also uh, in the engine bay, it's got those total control product uh, strut and fender braces, which look really, really good. Um, this engine, uh, actually, all of the details to the engine 
for anybody that wants to look further into it are in this magazine. We're gonna put it in our description as well. They get into the, the bore and stroke measurements. They get into you know the connecting rods and all the components uh, that are on the engine and so forth. Um, of course, they mentioned even the, uh, you know, the fuel system and everything else. So all those details, uh, you know, can be read here in this magazine if somebody cares to. That engine alone is probably a $20,000 uh, plus motor engine, especially if you were to try to replicate that today. So it is an absolutely awesome motor that we have dialed in, and you'll hear in a few minutes it runs beautiful. The engine is actually... Um, uh, cooled by a B-Cool aluminum radiator uh, with dual electric fans which work beautifully. Um, the engine breathes through custom headers. It also has Spintech side exhaust. The Spintech mufflers are the mufflers that were used on the original car uh, in the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. They have a very, very unique sound, especially when you're driving the car at higher speeds. Um, so Steve uh, used all of that type of equipment um, to replicate the original car the best that he could and it sounds awesome. The engine is actually coupled uh, to a Tremec TKO 5-speed transmission with overdrive. The transmission is really, really uh, tight. It shifts beautifully. Again, all the details to the exhaust system are here. All the details to the transmission are here. It mentions it has a McCloyd 12-inch uh, clutch. It's got a Roush Performance billet steel flywheel. Uh, it's got the Tremec uh, actual shifter in here. Um, they even go into the rear end, talking about the rear end in this car. It's not just some rear end that somebody threw together. This is a Chris Olsen Chassis Works Fab 9, nine inch rear end with strange engineering third member. Obviously it's got posi traction. Uh, it's got three seven gears. Uh, so it's really something that can be driven on the highway without it going crazy as far as tacking out and so forth. It even has strange engineering 31 spline axles. So I don't know what else you could possibly do to a car to make it any better than what this is. They didn't go to the extreme with some type of a coyote engine or something like this. He went with something that would be more authentic to the car, went with a Shelby uh, block, uh, hooked up with Jack Roush racing to buy one of his engines, had both of those guys sign the car. Again, this is a car that is truly a super, super piece. Uh, getting into the um, undercarriage of this car, the undercarriage uh, was finished kind of in a uh, black material, which would give it, uh, you know, good durability. They didn't, well, he didn't want to finish the car with the, you know, with the body color underneath just because of chips and things like that. So it was really done nicely underneath the the undercarriage is nice enough where you could put mirrors underneath it um, it's got really uh, good attention to detail um, it's got a rack and pinion uh, power steering system that works absolutely beautiful once again uh, it's mentioned here the suspension system with is again made by total control products total control products uh, front end which has got coilovers it even has a g bar four link total control product uh, rear suspension system, you know, they go into uh, everything like the wheels. The car's got race line wheels. They're 18 inch wheels. Uh, they're actually eight inch in the front, 10 inches in the back. Uh, they do have the, the spinner. So they represent that original GT40 style wheel, which look awesome. They're kind of like a polished uh, wheel. Um, the car does have Willwood brakes. Uh, Willwood makes an outstanding brake for good stopping performance. They're 13 inch. Um, it does have an ABS power brake electric uh, power assist, which is awesome as well. So it's actually uh, something that obviously would be superior to a manual brake uh, setup. Um, again, it goes into some of the interior features that we talked about, exterior features we talked about. One thing that MS Classic Cars did to this vehicle as well is when we got it, the side gas uh, cap that's mounted on the driver's side rear quarter, uh, it's actually done flushly, looks keeps those body lines nice and clean. Um, it was not actually functioning. We decided to go ahead and make it a functioning filler. So the mechanic, uh, Joe Fournier, who worked in this car, he's a huge Shelby guy, uh, fell in love with this car during the time that we serviced it and did everything we did. He actually uh, customized the filler and everything, so it is now functioning. That's another thing that we did at MS Classic Cars. In MS Classic Cars, uh, we service 
uh, all the vehicles that we sell were the only dealership uh, in the country, classic car dealership I'm referring to, who services every vehicle that we sell and we document that work with an invoice. That invoice is actually included. It's the first thing that we put in our binders. You can see this within our description. This will clearly document with parts and labor that we invested a total of $5,480.52 in this car. We do that so when the customer gets the car, there is no surprises. So everything in this car is in complete working order. I'm re referencing things like uh, the lights, the directionals, the horn, uh, making sure all the windows go up, making sure the doors shut properly, all the gauges, the radio, the clock, the heat. Uh, you know, we go through these vehicles from head to toe. We service these cars so when you start them, they start beautifully, they perform beautifully, and there's no surprises. So please, uh, if you're interested in this vehicle, be extremely, extremely confident that you are buying something that we've completely gone through. It's definitely one of the best examples of a 67 Ford Mustang Custom uh, with this Eleanor body kit. Uh, you'll be super, super proud of Ruby as we all are. And please make sure uh, that you check out our website, uh, which is msclassiccars.com for a complete description with tons of photos. Uh, we put a lot of work into these cars. Joe Fourniers, the mechanic who worked on it, uh, Chris Tanzi and Nate Robitar, the guys who detailed it, and Corey took all the uh, photos of it. So it's a, it's a joint effort that we all put into these vehicles. So please make sure to check it out. Make sure to also check it out on social media and like us on there as well. I'm gonna go ahead uh, right now and start the car for you, let you listen to how beautiful it runs. Uh, keep in mind, I only started this car uh, and let it run for maybe 15 seconds just to pull it out of the line into where its current position is. So this is almost a cold start in this car and you're gonna see for something that has such a, a big motor with extreme horsepower, you're gonna see how quickly it starts and you're gonna see how awesome it runs. Starts right up hers like a kitten. My foot is not even on the gas pedal right now. And it's like absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut the car off. And again, this is a, a more of a cold start just to show you how well this car is dialed in, how great of a job Joe did servicing it. It fires up. It fires